Hello, welcome to Kate Saying. So I got a notification that my tailing auger is at zero. I wasn't pushing dirt, but I ran into this huge mound of dirt with rocks in it. And at least five rocks went through my header, so this might be my first official breakdown. It was bad. I heard it. And I immediately stopped the combine, shut the machine off. We'll see what's going on. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. I had to road all the way off the hill, come down here. My dad's going to help me with this. Definitely got some dirt and rocks in the header. This is the cutter bar right here. Hey, you got all this dirt in here. Oh, it's clogged with dirt. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna slowly put, just put the machine in at an idle. It's gonna start clicking and then some of it come out. Okay. Tell me if it comes out, go stand over here. There should be dirt coming out there. That'll clean it out. Yep, dirt came out. So a lot of grain and dirt came out, mostly dirt. Actually, a ton of dirt. As you can see, grain's just covering it. That's why you gotta watch your tailings and stuff. I'll get my gloves then. First time digging out my header. And I'm ready to go. They're a little bit big, but they work. Okay, crawl in there and drag some of that dirt out. This is the first time I've had to dig my header out. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, there's a good amount of dirt. I'll just sweep it off in a second. Okay. There's still a lot of dirt. No, there's so much more to get. I'm not even close to being done. I'm just trying to, it's like, you know, packed in. I know. And the only thing that was absorbing into your machine is all that dirt. That's why it plugged up your return. Rock. Keep going. I'm going. Can I go this direction? You can go any direction. I really did bad things. Get it to the metal and brush it down to the bottom of this auger this where mound. we can drag it out. Huh? This mound is like crazy over here. Okay, now dig all this stuff out down here. You got that. I don't have gloves, otherwise I'd help you. Thank you. Hurry up. Yes, dig. exactly. Dig, quick. Get rid of it. When you make mistakes, they're bigger than these combines. Now, yeah, get rid of all that dirt. Because this belt's going to run all that dirt back here, too. To get rid of this dirt, so we can get rid of that dirt. <laughs> I have more gloves in the cab if you yeah, want them. I don't them. care. Just dig. I'm digging. Thank you for helping me. Get all that I dirt. You've got way more dirt on your belt. I just got it in. I ran into a large pile of rocks and dirt. And... I didn't stop soon enough. My dad says do's and don'ts of combine driving. Do do this and don't do what I just did. This is my reward for what I did. Do I pull this dirt out too, the stuff that's plugged here? Um, I just, you need a stick and a screwdriver for that. That's just wasting time, quit laying around. <laughs> yeah, exactly, laying around. Well, I just got back at the combine from digging my header out and it was an interesting experience, I'll tell you that. A lot of hard work, time consuming, and I definitely don't want to be doing that again. I'm driving forward a bit and then turning because I've got a combine park behind me, but dad kindly came and helped me too. So now I am headed back to the derm. It was really an interesting experience digging my header out. Never before have I ever plugged it. I won't be doing that again. I'll try. It could have been a lot worse. I did all the right things. I stopped the combine. I did everything I could have to prevent further damage, and I didn't cause any damage, but my return auger was filled with dirt, pretty much no derm, and my whole header was filled with dirt too, as you saw. Three years running combine, never hey, plugged go, it up. Go over and pop that thing open I showed you. This is the second time I plugged it up today. It is definitely not my day for combining. Wow. I plugged it up with dirt again. So I'm turning the machine on, and that's the return auger, and I'm trying to empty out the dirt, and then I turn it off and on again. I might need to turn it on again. Nope, now I'm shutting the combine off. Ugh, a lot of headaches today. And I was really paying attention too. 
That's what I don't understand. Do you start from the bottom? Yes. That's why this is happening because the weed ain't going anywhere. It can't get up there. You gotta reach way, up. way. You got dirt way up in there. I can't believe I did it again. You gotta. I'm a bad combine driver. It isn't that, Kate. You got it on these edges too. You gotta get out. And I was cutting higher too. Reach up in here like this. And I did this all last year with the barley. But if you do this, you have to dig it out. I've never done this before. Dirt. Uh -huh. Get rid of it because you got a lot of it in. I apologize. I'm going to try my best not no, to do it, it again. No, it isn't that. I understand, Kate. I've done this a lot. That's why I was cutting out of them coolies. Oh, no. There's dirt. Oh, yeah. It's plugged over here. First time I've ever plugged it twice in the same day. <laughs> and it's always the end of harvest too. The end of my first year, my whole back wheel fell off. No, I did. I was paying attention. I can assure you. I don't know how to get this out. It's plugged. Thank you for offering the help. I really appreciate it. Character building? Yes, yes, character building. Now I'm going to start it off. We're having tacos for dinner, so that's exciting. Well, we are officially done with the 2021 harvest and I am roading my combine home. It did not finish harvesting the Durham today, so that's a little bit upsetting. I had to dig my header out a second time. I had it filled so much with dirt, we are going to have to drop the plate and we actually ended up finishing this field before we could get my combine going again. This happened to be my first year of harvest too. The back wheel fell off the very last day, straight cutting spring wheat, and then the front wheel totally blew out. So I am really good at breaking the combine down the last day of harvest. At least it's not the first day. I've been on a roll, three years combining, never once plugged it up, plugged it up twice today, and not with wheat, with dirt. We have a lot of coolies in this field and areas where the field crowns, meaning it's higher in the middle than it is on either side. I'm just going down a little road here. There was a lot of areas that it was really challenging with this 35 foot header. The other combines have 30 foot and smaller header to not be able to plug it up. Also, my header is not completely level and the float sensors, so what determines the height of the header, are not working very well. So one side of my header is stripping the wheat, meaning barely cutting it off, and the other side is almost digging in the dirt. Look at your tank, how much you got in there. Quarter. The only spot for the very front and the very back, and it's loaded heavy now. Now I'm unloading my last bit of wheat in this semi-truck. I don't think you'd get, get it dumped out putting it in there, would you? Okay, way down, okay, way down, because you got wires on the left to me 
mailboxes on the right. Take your header all the way up. Okay, now you gotta look because I can't see from here. Left and right, nobody coming. Right. The road is clear, so I am now on the highway to the schoolhouse. Weaving in and out of these two signs. So if you ever see a combine driving down the road with a K-Tank blade, you know it's me. The home stretch. I can't believe that this is the last time I'm driving my combine this year. Okay, be extra safe on these last couple turns so we don't have nothing bad happen. Go between the car and my combine out into that field, turn around and come back and line up. Yeah. A huge thank you to our neighbor who allowed us to use his green car. That's actually exactly like ours because ours broke down. Lining up the combine for the last time this year. What a harvest it's been. I'm going to idle my machine down. Today was a super frustrating day because I not only once, but twice, two rounds of digging my header out. Everyone came and asked me if I was using my combine as a bulldozer because I kept digging dirt and rocks. It was pretty crazy. This sunset has completely made up for it. It is so amazing. Words can't even describe it. It's the best sunset ever. And all of harvest to have this sunset be the last day of harvest 2021 is just incredible. It's so beautiful. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I can't believe it's the last day of Harvest 2021. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to see more videos to learn about how your food gets to your table. So now you've seen the harvest process and I wanna show you every process it takes to grow your food and eventually put it on your table. Make sure to follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G and on Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, and you can visit the Kate's Egg website, katesag.com, and purchase a wonderful Made in USA 100% cotton Kate's Egg tote bag. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!